All right, hello everybody. It's Andre Myron from West Coast Chainmail, and I'm coming to you uh, with something a little bit different today. Um, today I'm going to cut some manual safety slots in these grip modules for a 6-hour P320. Uh, sometimes you have a fire control unit that has the manual safety in it, and you want to be able to use a new grip module, but the only grip module you can find doesn't have the manual safety slot. Now there's some videos out there on YouTube already about how to cut these slots using a Dremel and a, a jig that looks something like this, you know, and you'll take that and you'll, you'll snap it on, uh, oh, you can't use that on that one. Um, you'll take it and you'll, you'll put it on, you know, like that, put this into the uh, slide release hole and then you'll use a Dremel. But the problem with that is my Dremel is not working right now. Yeah, I need a new one. Um, and two, uh, some of these grip modules can be really expensive and it's really easy to make a mistake with a Dremel. So I came up with another way to do this, um, a pair of jigs, uh, one of which drills a hole for the bottom part of it, and then the other of which cuts a couple of slots. And between these two jigs, you can get an easy, repeatable manual safety slot in either the X style or the uh, original style grip modules from Sig Sauer. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Uh, so as you can see, I've got these two that already have the safety. I'm going to go ahead and put those aside. Um, and we'll start with the X series here. Um, so I designed these jigs to have some, some little cutouts here so that they can fit on the X series. And uh, use of this is pretty simple. What you need for tools is a drill with a quarter inch drill bit. Um, a hacksaw blade or a small hobby saw or something else capable of sawing the material that you are uh, that your grip module is made out of and a little bit of sandpaper for for cleaning things up so we'll start with the holes so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna just snap it on there I'm gonna make sure that the notch lines up with the uh, slide stop release I'm just gonna put my thumb on top here so that it doesn't move take my drill line it up with the hole and I'm just going to drill that out real quick. Now I could go all the way through on this, um, but I'm not going to because I found that it works a little bit better to just go one side at a time. So now I'll do the other side. There we go. Pull that off, brush that out, and you can see now we've got a nice hole through on both sides. So now we'll do the slot part. We'll take this, uh, sorry, I got something in my eye there. Should wear uh, eye protection while you're doing this. Um, so put the slot part on, and the same thing here. And now I'm just going to take my hacksaw blade, put it in the first slot, and I'll just start sawing. If you have a vise or something to keep this in, that can be helpful, but you don't need one. Just a good grip. Just sawing through this here. And you want to go until you bottom out here on the jig. I've bottomed out there. Okay, and now we'll do the other side. Last couple of passes are always a little bit. There we go, over there, just about there. There we go. Take that off, and lo and behold, there's our safety slot. So it's got a little bit of fuzzy on it, so we're just going to take our sandpaper here and just kind of go in there and clean that up real quick. It doesn't take a lot. And then I've got a little piece of uh, 320 here. I just like to roll up, put in there, and just kind of tidy that up a little bit. On the other side. And there we go. So we'll check it for fitment. Take my FCU. 
blow all that stuff out because we don't want bits of plastic in our FCU. Uh, take our FCU in there. Nice. Okay, so now let's do the other um, grip module because this actually does work for both the X series and the regular. I right, sorry, but yeah, both the X series and the regular grip modules. So we'll set that aside and we'll get our regular grip module here. Again, we're going to do the holes first. So we'll get the hole jig. And we'll drill that out. side and so you can use these jigs to do more than one grip module obviously they will wear out they are made of plastic but they're relatively robust there we go so there's our hole and now again we'll take our slot jig here so have a little bit of uh, plastic in there from the last one let's just push that out make sure that our slots are free <laughs> There we go. Great. And we'll take that and we'll snap that on. We'll use our hacksaw blade here. safety cutout slot for that one. So again, a little bit of sandpaper, just clean the fuzzies up. And a little bit of 320 down in the curved part. Easy. Uh, let's check it for fitment. Let's take this. There we go. Looks good. No gaps. Nice and easy. So I do sell these jigs on eBay, um, about fifteen or sixteen dollars or so, uh, depending on. Uh, inflation and all that. Um, they're easy to use and you don't need a Dremel. So I hope this is helpful for somebody out there. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email or comment below. And uh, other than that, a little strange to be saying happy mailing, but I guess I'll say also happy shooting. <laughs>